there, this is Chris from Money Hub. We've put together this contents insurance template to help you keep track of everything that you own and what you want to insure. The important thing with contents insurance is not to underinsure yourself. Should disaster strike, you don't want to find out that the things you own actually aren't properly insured for and then you have to pay out of your own money uh, to replace them all. So what the process really is uh, from our spreadsheet it is to go through each room in your property and list everything which you own, which is everything that's in there. So we suggest starting, you know, if you have an attic, then start with that. You can obviously change these if you need to insert uh, more lines, then just, you know, insert them. Then you can just name that attic, then write in, you know, exactly what it is and the date and you know the retailer so the date that it was purchased and then if you have any information about the model the serial a lot of these things don't really matter but it's useful just to have you know the price that you paid if that's available slash something that's estimated value now what you can do is also take photos that's probably not going to be something for small value items but for significant things like golf clubs computers ipads everything like that and then it is very helpful to do that. We've created a very simple process here where there's a little text box which will take you through the process to make sure that all your photos are properly saved. You can either put that online uh, using Dropbox or something like that or you can put it on your computer. Uh, but just read our guidance there because that will help you. And for further information about contents insurance, you can click on the Money Hub guides there. There's two of them. Um, yeah, so this, this basically is going to help you get the total price of everything that you own. And then beside that, you have an estimated price. We always suggest considering looking at insuring for the total price because that's really what you paid, which would be the replacement value if something happened today and you needed to replace it tomorrow. Uh, but it is, worth, it is worth noting that some items may not be covered uh, by standard contents insurance because uh, there may be limits. So do keep in mind that certain items, if you have, for example, some antique, you know, the contents insurance policy may only pay out, you know, perhaps $3,000, $5,000 per item. So if you do need something insured that's over a certain limit, then you'll need to uh, put an application with the insurance company. Usually you can do that online. It's very straightforward, but it is essential to do that so you are properly covered because uh, people have had problems in the past where something has happened there's been a claim but the payout has been much less than what the a person who was insured thought because of that limit so we suggest just going through the room making it fun uh, from room to room we've got bathrooms here bedrooms you can add things in here they will appear if you need to filter you can click on say for example, bedroom four, you can click on the laundry, living room, garage, all things like that. So just keep in mind that it's a very simple spreadsheet to use, and we want you to be able to quickly but accurately have a list of everything which you own for contents insurance purposes. So I hope that helps, and do let us know if you have any questions, and the, the links to the spreadsheet are below.